Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you this natural, flawless looking daytime makeup look. So, yeah, let's get into the video. So since our topic is how to get a flawless daytime makeup look, I am gonna give you a few tips that I know which works good and makes your skin look, you know, flawless even in daytime and doesn't look like you're wearing a heavy makeup for that the first thing you're supposed to use it either the previous night for the event or before you apply makeup make sure you you exfoliate your skin before you apply your makeup so that your makeup glides on really smoothly and blends really well if you skip that step your skin your makeup is gonna look like makeup or even worse because you're just applying makeup over a skin that needs help so that's the first step you can use this um, Huda Beauty's enzyme scrub this is something I highly recommend for anybody who wants you know who, who has very aggressive hands like mine and I wanna and if you wanna have something very gentle you can use this scrub this is gonna help us achieve a very beautiful base so after exfoliating, moisturizing is the first step I would recommend. I'm using this Embryolis moisturizer. This moisturizer suits all skin types and it's, it works best for any type of skin. Also, it acts as a primer. After this step, I'm actually gonna prime my face because I need a primer that is gonna make my skin look really poreless because when you don't use a pore filling primer, your foundation is gonna settle in, sink into the skin pores and nighttime, I guess it's kind of fine because of the lights and all those things but in daytime, it's gonna be very evident you're, uh, you've applied a heavy layer of foundation so to avoid that, we have to apply a pore filling primer. I use the Laura Mercier blurring primer. This works good for me. Now that the canvas is ready for the makeup, let's move on to another technique called underpainting. I have done this technique before a couple of years back and I will link it here please do check it out it is a technique which was followed by Scott Barnes where he teaches how he does JLo's Jennifer Lopez makeup so that it looks super flawless and snatched so since it's it's a morning makeup uh, it's a daytime makeup I don't want it to look that evident of a snatched makeup but I want to look seamless and flawless and I don't want anyone to know where I've blended my makeup like from my blush to my bronzer, my contour, my foundation, concealer. I don't want any of this to be found out. I want everything evened out. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use my Charlotte Breeze Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade Tan to highlight my high points of my face can you see this is already giving me that glow so that's what we need because we can't use a chunk of highlighter on our face for a daytime makeup it's gonna be very uh, prominent to the person who sees your face nearby like in close up it's gonna be seen like a strip of highlight which I totally avoid for daytime makeup now let's move on to the next step I'm gonna apply my concealer my concealer is from one size it's in the shade dark one it's a neutral concealer which I like but still this does turn a little yellow I'm gonna use a cream contour to slightly highlight sorry contour my face 
my highlighter and contouring is done I'm gonna add a little bit of blush here because I will be adding a powder blush on top of this so underneath my foundation I just need a little bit of color this is gonna give me that color Etude House it's in the shade Cranberry Plum and for foundation I'm gonna use my Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Cinnamon this is my most you know best matching foundation I've ever got I'm just gonna dab it on my face all over don't just drag just press it all over This is the Radiant Concealer from NARS in the shade Biscuit and I'm gonna highlight only on the under the eyes and a little bit on the nose bridge. Apply my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna take a little bit on my palm like so. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender. It's damp, so it's gonna be easier for us to set our makeup. Just press the makeup, I mean, just press the powder in. Setting your under eye is very important, otherwise, it's gonna crease. So our base is done. Now let's move on to the contouring part. So I used my Natasha Denona's Sculpting Powder. It's in the shade number 5 Deep. Take a stippling brush like this and I'm gonna use it to contour. I'm not coming down further past my eyebrows because I don't want that deep contouring for the daytime because that way it's gonna be very evident that I've applied makeup. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Cosmetics Rouge Roman. I'm gonna use the shade called Fancy Pants and Pretty Posh. I'm gonna mix them up. First, I'm gonna take the shade Fancy Pants. It's a bit corally, but with a sheen, it's not matte. So I'm gonna apply that and then on top of this I'm gonna top it up with a matte pretty posh this color looks beautiful so for the daytime this is my favorite combo and a little bit on my nose as well uh, the one thing I forgot to do was my eyebrows actually this is something I forgot to tell you I have been started a new way of doing my eyebrows it's like I I have to do my eyebrows before I start my makeup because once the product settles into your foundation your foundation or powder everything gets settled into the eyebrows it doesn't look as good as it should be so I missed that today because in the morning I did do the eyebrows first I started with the eyebrows I, I set my eyebrows and then moved on to my foundation black eyeshadow from the James Charles palette and just went over like this near the lash line just a teeny tiny bit and took it all over to half the lid and blended so this is the look I went for today and then I lined my waterline with the MAC pink eyeliner this is called the extreme black eyeliner this fixing tint which I used for my cheek it's in the shade cranberry plum it's a lip tint so it's basically gonna give a little bit of color to my lip once the tint dries I'm gonna apply max relentlessly red electric pink 
And so I wanted that kind of a look because of daytime and it's, it should be summery for me. So I'm gonna apply this and blend it. So it is very muted but still suits me without even a lip liner. I never thought I'm, I, I would be able to, you know, work with the Max Lentless Stay Red because I always thought it was very light for my skin tone. But then now I've learned, you know, how to work things out. I am going to, I'm going to dust off the under eye powder that has been baking for quite some time now. Channel Tilbury's Airbrush Setting Spray. See, everything is there, but you don't know where, which one starts. Finally, to have a little bit of highlight, which I like, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Finish. This has zero glitters, which I really love. This is a technique I learned from Namrata Sony. We know she's a celebrity makeup artist. I once did a masterclass with her and she was absolutely stunning and she taught me you know, how to apply a highlighter without making it looking glittery like a very natural looking highlight i've always wondered how these celebrities had that kind of a skin but this is the reason this is the secret behind it so for daytime i use her technique most of the technique she uses is what I depend on for my daytime looks because it, it works good for me. Last but not the least, the mascara part. That's the look I created for a flawless daytime makeup look. I liked it. Meet you in another one. Bye guys.